I think for bloggers um, and for influencers too, the most important thing right now is going to be to deepen that connection when people are really craving connection more than ever. So just really focus on that. And if I can throw out one other piece that's been on my mind about uh, bloggers in particular. Uh, so we posed the question, but said we would get into it as we talked to examples around what can you do to set the stage for the ultimate return to business as usual or even better in most cases. Um, and I might take some heat for saying this, but in, in working with a lot of bloggers over recent years, talking to them about their businesses and understanding where they're at, I think a trend that I've seen, uh, which I can't necessarily prove, uh, maybe we could do some research around it, is that the folks in the blogging world who are generally doing better from a financial perspective have created their own monetizable assets over time. Right. So you have the traditional revenue streams of ads and affiliate uh, relationships uh, and brand partnerships, which can be very lucrative over time as well. The challenge with those is they can be highly cyclical and in recessions, a lot of those channels can be hurt simultaneously. But a lot of bloggers have been creating, whether it's their own courses, their own guides, their own premium content experiences, premium services that they offer, uh, their uh, subscription tribe or premium community offering, even branded products that they sell in order to expand their brand and expand the reach of their business over time. Uh, really they've become less dependent on the swings in advertising and affiliate revenue over time. And a lot of them actually just make more money in the first place, right? Because sometimes you can build repeat buyers, repeat customer bases, or even subscription models that enable you to just build your passive income over time uh, as those assets continue to be monetized. So right now, I think there might be a period of time for folks in various verticals of blogging, not just travel, to take some of this time and say, okay, do I see opportunities where I can create some of my own monetizable assets that I will own for the long term that I can sell? And will that actually improve my business model? Not only maybe now, if I can generate some near-term revenue, but at a minimum, I can develop those now, get them to market. And then when the market swings back up, uh, I'll be ready to sell and I'll be ready to generate more revenue than I might otherwise.